Mm-hmm. A- as you've heard all of these things, Amanda, I mean, what's been going through your mind? Um, it, it is so frustrating because, and I wish that I could sit down with each one of these policymakers and just have a face-to-face conversation with them and tell them my story, especially the representative out of um, Colorado who made the the comment that he did on Friday. I have it in front of me about, um, you know, he said, it's why we have call boxes. It's why we have safe zones. It's why we have whistles. And I could just go through and argue each one of those statements with the experience that I had. For one, all of these are just sentiments that in, give a false sense of security in my, well, in my experience. I know that the university that I attended, the University of Nevada, Reno, they didn't have any call boxes the night that I was attacked. They afterwards installed them. But I can tell you that a call box above my head while I was straddled on the parking garage floor being brutally raped wouldn't have helped me one bit. Um, The safe zone, well, I was in a safe zone, and my attacker didn't care. What what do you, you, Amanda, what do you mean that you were in a safe zone? Well, he says that it's why we have safe zones. So if the campuses are designated as a safe zone or I take it as a a gun-free zone, all it does is ensure the perpetrator that they are going to be unmatched when they pick up victims. Because you were attacked.